it's, it's life changing. This, you know, I've heard people say before, you're told from the time that you're an infant by your parents that there's no such thing as monsters, there's no boogeyman, and guess what? In, in the blink of an eye, all of that comes flooding to you like you could take the, the biggest human being, you know, Andre the Giant. This thing could uh, squish him like a grape. And the hominoids are bigger, faster, stronger, operate at night, eat anything in their world. They can hear better, see better, and I'm absolutely sure think better than we can. listening to an excerpt from the Sierra Sounds, a recording by Ron Moorhead and Al Berry. Now, I have no doubt to the authenticity there. That was authenticated by a world-renowned linguistic engineer and researchers abroad, you know, so I still remember the first time I heard it, man. God, I was taken back. I felt like a damn 12-year-old to Chuck E. Cheese with a handful of quarters, man. I've been studying this, these Sierra Sounds ever since, you know. I listen to them quite a bit, and I, I just, I've always known that there's just something there, you know. So I was thinking about them earlier today, kicking them around, and I thought to myself, I wonder if anybody's ever tried playing them backwards, you know? I mean, I remember when Black Sabbath did that backwards masking and stuff, and that was like all the rave, you know? So I figured, hell, maybe um, the Sasquatch are like Black Sabbath. Maybe they've talked backwards. So I ran the thing backwards, put it in my cassette player, and ran it backwards, and got the same thing, unrecognizable, jibber-jabber. So frustrated. You know, I tried a couple different... Um, styles, right, a couple different speeds, and I got so pissed off, I threw down my recorder, you know, my damn tape recorder, and believe it or not, the damn thing started malfunctioning, and started playing at more like 20%, you know, I had it at half speed earlier, and it did, did, didn't make up much of a difference, but at about 20%, honest to God, I could I could start to break, make out some words, so I stuck a little um, piece of cardboard in there, and a little shim, and I got that thing down to about 13% of normal speed. And holy smokes, I couldn't believe my ears. It was actually becoming legible, man. So I, I toyed around with it for a bit and discovered that right at about 13%, you know, right at a, a crawl, you know, you could actually start to really understand the words. So what I did was I, after I woke back up, I fainted, man. I was so taken back, I couldn't believe what I had, I had heard there. I, you're not going to believe this shit. I've recorded a little bit, you know. I, I turned a four-second clip, a four-second of Sasquatch talk, into about three or four minutes of English. You know, they talk so damn fast, it's unbelievable. I bet one of them could recite an entire phone book in like three minutes. So um, what I'm about to play are sounds, it sounds to me like a family of Bigfoot discussing their plans for a night out on the town. Now brace yourselves, you're, you're about to hear something pretty gnarly, you're in for quite a shock. So here we go. Rolling! Let's roll down the hill and grab some more of those plastic burritos I found last night. Shut up, cricket. 
Skippy. That was a used diaper, you idiot. Gee, Pops, why do we got to take this fool with us? He's stupid. Quilt, if I shared some of the crap you pulled when you were his age, you'd turn red with shame. Oh, Bull, I was snapping deer necks before I was frickin' two years old, man. Okay, Quilt, how about the time I found you in Mr. Singletary's goat pen doing the whoopee dance? Yeah, you were snapping all right, snapping your fingers. Okay, okay, enough of that, enough of that, Dad. Let's change the subject here. Hey, I got dibs on that dumpster behind 7-Eleven. Quilt, Mom says no dumpsters anymore. You've lost seven teeth in the past year, and your breath smells like a human on a good day. All right, now listen up. Here is the plan. Roosevelt and Chewy, you boys got point tonight. And Thug Luca, you get to watch the creek hippie while I run around the back of the house and distract Mr. Singleton. Then you can shove the creek hippie through the doggy door so he can raid the white ice cabinet and score me some of that leftover Christmas cranberry mushy shit that Mrs. Singletary made. That stuff is to die for. Now, Junior, do not sit in there too long with your hairy fingers rummaging around that kitchen. I want your hairy little ass out of there in no more than 7.2 seconds. Do you hear me, you little son of a skunk ape? Yes, Daddy, loud and clear. Daddy, you said if I was good all week long that I could do the yell this time. Let me do the yell, please, Daddy. Roosevelt, if it makes you happy and you quit bugging me about it all the time, I will let you do the yell if you think you can pull it off. Go ahead and give it a shot, son. Holy smoke, son, you're a chip off the old block. I didn't know you had it in you. Damn, I'm a proud prophet. Alright, let's go down and raid the dumpster.